Good afternoon. Welcome to week eight of Operation Fat Be Gone. Big Stu here. Happy to have you with me this week. Uh, I want to apologize. I was not able to get a video done for week seven. I tried on several attempts to get something going and couldn't get it to work out. Uh, so that being said, we are into week eight now. This is actually day 51. So those that have been on this journey with us since the first week, we are almost two months into this journey towards a new life. Uh, for those who haven't kind of stuck with it to the fullest, there's no time like the present to jump back on the horse. This is not a competition. This is a group to help each other, to stay motivated. This has been an awesome journey over these last eight weeks. Man, I'll tell you what, it might sound crazy, but after looking back over the last eight weeks, I am so glad that I did not get on The Biggest Loser. Um, because we're doing it in real life, in real time, and of our own volition. We don't have trainers on our behinds nonstop. We're not in a cocoon. You know, we're not in an atmosphere where everything is tailor-made to be perfect. Uh, because I just see some of those people, so many of those people that are on The Biggest Loser, when they get out, they don't know what to do. Because they've been following such a crazy regimen, they don't, they don't know how to incorporate other parts of their life, like work and family and obligations. So I'm so excited that I've been able to uh, be with all of you on this journey and I hope that most of you are still with me. Uh, if you haven't stuck to it completely, that's okay. If you're at least still focusing on what you want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, that is awesome. And we've had some people make some awesome strides throughout the course of this uh, Operation Fat Be Gone. Um, I want to give a shout out to Heidi Hakes. She has been on this a little bit longer than the rest of us, but she is down 41 pounds. And I'll tell you what, uh, she's my sister-in-law, so being able to see her over the past couple months, it is very obvious that she's dropping weight. She's looking great, and I just want to tell her how proud I am of her. Also, uh, give a shout out to Tammy Capitosio. She dropped 22 pounds so far. Uh, Samuel Crozen, I know you're not far behind, and there's a lot of others that have just dropped, you know, a little bit here and there. And you know, their their goal is not necessarily to drop weight really fast, but they've been steady and keeping on pace, and that's just awesome. And it's it's just great to be able to have a group of people that we can work together and we can help each other out, and hold each other accountable. And um, I've talked to several of you over the course of this eight weeks. You know, some of you you shared uh, the things that have that have given you trouble. Uh, the things that are bothering you, and it's, it's great to hear this feedback. I want you to know, uh, one of the things I've heard a lot uh, from some of you is that you don't feel like you have the support at home. You know, the rest of your family wants to eat normal like what they always have, and it's really a struggle for you to try and be different from them and go out and do your own thing. I want you to know, you're not alone in this. I'm here with you, and all the rest of the people that are on this journey together are with you. If you just want to hang in there and keep fighting this fight. Um, I said on the email yesterday, never underestimate the power you have to change yourself. And the second part of that was never overestimate the power that you have to change others. That's something I've really learned over the course of this eight weeks because no matter what anyone else says, the bottom line is this journey, the success of this journey depends on each one of us for each one of us. We can't force anyone else to do it, and we, you know, we can help motivate, but the bottom line is we have to make our own decisions for what we want to accomplish. So, after saying all that, I hope that you all are encouraged and motivated and are still on this journey with me. I hope you're excited about the next eight weeks. Who knows where we can go from here. I know I'm going to be on this thing for a long time, and I want each of you to just continue with me, stay strong keep fighting, keep making the right decisions, and keep dropping those pounds. That's all for now. I want you all to have a great week eight. God bless, and we'll see you next week.